Have you ever wondered how diamonds are made? These captivating gems have been charming us for centuries with their unmatchable brilliance and elegance. Diamonds are a symbol of love, wealth, and status, and their allure has been irresistible to many. They are more than just a piece of jewelry. They are a testament to the incredible forces of nature, and a testament to time itself. Diamonds are used in various industries from cutting-edge technology to the world of high fashion. Their hardness, brilliance, and thermal conductivity make them unique and highly valuable. But where do they come from? How are they formed? What makes them so special? The story of a diamond's creation is as fascinating and complex as the gem itself. It involves a journey that begins deep within our planet and spans over billions of years. Now are you ready to embark on a fascinating journey that uncovers the secret behind the creation of these precious gems? Imagine being buried deep within the Earth's mantle, where the magic of diamond formation begins. This is not a place for the faint-hearted, it's a realm where the pressure is a staggering 50,000 times greater than that at the Earth's surface, and the temperature is hotter than the surface of the Sun. Yet this harsh environment is exactly what's necessary for diamonds to form. Now, what elements are involved in this process? The key player here is carbon. Yes, the very same element found in the graphite of your everyday pencil. Carbon-bearing materials when subjected to these extreme conditions, begin a transformation that is nothing short of miraculous. Under the intense heat and pressure the carbon atoms bond together in a unique way, forming a crystalline structure that we know and love as a diamond. These extreme conditions set the stage for the spectacular transformation that carbon undergoes to become a diamond. Deep within the Earth, carbon atoms start a remarkable journey of transformation. Our story begins about 100 miles beneath the Earth's surface, in the mantle, where the temperatures simmer at around 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. Here, carbon atoms are subjected to an intense pressure that is 50,000 times greater than that at sea level. It's under these extreme conditions that the magic begins. The carbon atoms, feeling the heat and the squeeze, start to interact with one another. They form strong, covalent bonds, each carbon atom connecting with four others. This bonding pattern is repeated over and over, creating a three-dimensional network of tetrahedrons. It's this very pattern, this crystal lattice structure that lays the groundwork for what will eventually become a diamond. However, the transformation doesn't happen overnight. Picture this. It's like a slow dance where the carbon atoms gradually find their rhythm and their place in the grand scheme of things. Over a period of 1 to 3 billion years, yes, you heard that right, billion with a B, the carbon atoms continue to bond. They form a tightly woven fabric, a crystal lattice that is incredibly strong and durable. The carbon atoms are now locked in place, trapped within the lattice. They can't move or wiggle out no matter how much they might want to. This immobility, this steadfastness, is what gives a diamond its hardness. It's why diamonds are the hardest known natural substance on Earth. Yet the process doesn't stop there. Over time, the diamond undergoes further transformation. It may change color from clear to yellow to blue depending on the presence of other elements and how they interact with the carbon atoms. It may also develop inclusions, small imperfections that give each diamond its unique character. In the end, what started as a humble carbon atom has now become something far more precious and beautiful. After millions or even billions of years, what was once simple carbon has now become a diamond. The newly formed diamond doesn't stay buried deep within the earth forever. Much like a well-kept secret it finds its way to the surface, and the journey it undertakes is nothing short of fascinating. It all begins with a volcanic eruption but not just any eruption. We're talking about a specific, rare, and incredibly powerful type known as a kimberlitic eruption. These eruptions originate nearly 200 miles beneath the Earth's crust, in the very same areas where diamonds form. The intensity of these eruptions propels a special type of rock called kimberlite up through the Earth's layers. Kimberlite acts as a sort of diamond elevator, carrying these precious gems on a fast track to the surface. And here's the exciting part. These diamonds are not alone. Kimberlite often carries a host of other gems and minerals, making each eruption a veritable treasure chest. Once the eruption cools down and solidifies, it leaves behind a treasure trove of diamonds for us to discover. So, that's the fascinating journey of a diamond, from a simple carbon atom to a precious gem. We've traversed through the depths of the Earth's mantle, where the right conditions of extreme heat and pressure foster the birth of these coveted stones. In this journey we've witnessed how mere carbon atoms, the same stuff that makes up the graphite in your pencils, undergo a transformation under these intense conditions. 
They rearrange themselves into a crystal structure, creating the hardest known natural substance on Earth, the diamond. From there, we followed the diamond's arduous journey to the surface, propelled by volcanic eruptions, eventually resting in the Earth's crust, waiting to be discovered, mined, and cherished. This entire process, from formation to discovery, spans millions of years. So, the next time you see a diamond, remember the incredible journey it has embarked on over millions of years to become the sparkling gem you see today.